Is it possible that the, the atrocities happening right now by allegedly God's chosen people who can't sit in the sun are being talked about and marched on in every city in America and international. So that is Satan divided against Satan. Uh, that's free Palestine. You understand? Free, free <laughs> Palestine. Look, shut down the whole... You understand? The Muslims are taking over. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> that is scaring Esau to death. Uh -huh. he's, he's having nightmares about this. God. And he knows if he comes out and counter protests against them crazy uh, Muslims over there, then he's going to get punched on. God. It's going to be a fight. That's why you never see any counter protests right. with the uh, 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 so-called Jewish man, Amalek. Because he wouldn't survive. Right. So now, what is Esau going to do? Esau is a killer. Yeah, that's, that's what right. he does from yes. jump. Yes, he is. Yeah. You understand? That's, that's, this is something that he's been doing. All right, let's get that. So he's not going to take no loss. You nope. understand? Esau don't take no loss. Esau... Likes to shoot. That's right. You understand? So what's he gonna do? He gonna shoot. So it's only a matter of time before one of these gets shot up. Yeah. It's only a matter of time. You understand? This is the book of John. And then once it gets shot up, it's gonna keep going. Because it's gonna be back and forth. So when you talk about a civil war on the Texas border, yeah, that's coming. Right? It's probably already here. Is you know, it? The bodies uh -huh. didn't get dropping yet. You know no. what I mean? Once the bodies start dropping, you got yourself a war. It's coming. You know? But but outside the Texas border, it's a war going on between the, the uh, Islamic nationalists, or whatever you want to call them, and the Edomites, the so-called white people. That's right. This is the book of John. This is the book of St. John, chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil, no. and the lust of your father ye will do. That's right. He was a murderer from the beginning, mm -hmm. and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. There's no truth in the so-called white man. No. Nope. It's all lies. That's right. It's lies and propaganda. That's how he based his whole system of government on. Lying. That you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American are, are savages. They have to be locked away. Mm -hmm. You need them to protect you. From these, from these vicious animals. It's based upon a lie. Yeah. They were the real animals. They're the ones that killed the so-called Native Americans and put them in mass graves. They're the ones that brought your ancestors over here to work from sun up to sun down. Mm -hmm. And they call and they had the nerve to call you out of your name. That you're not the child of the Most High God. All right. But there's no truth in Him. You can go. You can spend your entire life doing the exact opposite of what so-called white people tell you to do and you can live a pleasant, happy life. They can say it's going to be raining outside. You, 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 you don't leave your umbrella at home. They can say it's going to be the storm of the century and it'll be 87 degrees outside. Everything they, Every time they open up their mouth, it's a lie. Yeah. You know? When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. That's just what he does. There's nothing he can do to help that. We trying to bring him on and and, and, and and build him up. Maybe one day they will change. They're not, they're, they're void of changing. They're void of being decent human beings. All right. For he is a liar and the father of, of the lie. He That's was right. the lie. Yep. Huh. That's his move. That's his trick shot. I'm going to tell him a lie. All right, but at the same time, he's a killer. Very sneaky, though. You know, um, Jeffrey Dahmer and, and, and Ted Bundy type killers, real sneaky, crafty. You know what I mean? Put your guard down. You know, that's why you can't put your guard down around um, so-called white men. Nope, not at all. You know, always watch him. Always pay attention. What's he doing? What's he about to do? 
what's his next move? They worry about the migrants over there at the Texas border. That's right. What's he going to do about it? That's right. All right, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 1. Do you speak righteousness, O congregation? Do you judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in the heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they, they be, be born, born. Speaking lies. Lies. Kind. The minute he comes out, he's lying. That's right. You know? But the beautiful part about this is the judgment that's happening. You right saw. Now. Got that right. That's right. Oh, he saw the liar. Boy. He saw oh, the judge, boy. right? It's crazy. He boy. saw the liar. It's like you got the, 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 the white man at the top is going straight to the hey, bottom. But and the black man that's at the bottom is going to go straight to the top. And Absolutely, right? You had your time to. Uh, your purple, green, blue, or yellow. What happened? I don't care if you're purple, green, blue, or yellow. But God does. Know. You didn't know that? Yeah, we had that. God does. We, only, we have our own higher power. See that? Yeah. Uh huh. The higher Believe power has chosen people. God. You don't you go see me. Uh -huh. I got my job at a yellow page. Okay. I'm doing security work. Three years ago, I was homeless. Uh huh. I went up to yellow pages and got me a job. The yellow Four pages. years later, I worked at the museum and Channel 17. In Woodfield. Yeah? yeah? That's crazy. Boy. You can be, you can be homeless, you put on a suit, God you, you walk right in, and yeah, you get yeah. any job you want. Yeah. That is the yeah. amazing part about being white. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like this, like this, like this. Yeah, yeah, right here. Right no, no, all right, whatever. Like like all right. All, all right. right. Right? And you went in, you got your job straight out the yellow pages. Yeah, I was, I was you can have a laundry list of charges, Yo, I felonies, I drug where, charges. Where, uh, be high as a kite and still get a job. You're stupid, Bo. I just run the chat in cemetery. And I still go through the cemetery. He's all going on. He came from work. He's all going on. He's coming from work. He's coming from work. He's coming from work. What are you talking about cemetery? He's thinking in 1960s, 70s. Come on now. He saw the last of my. The world's coming, right? He saw the end of your world. This is the book of Second, Second Ezra, chapter six, verse nine. For Esau is the end of end the world. world. That's the so-called white people. We have the end of the world. It's over, Esau. Poison the the, the, the water, the, uh -huh. the air, the grass, everything. Put lead in the gasoline. Put lead in paint. Who does stuff like that? So Esau is the end of the world. And Israel is the beginning of that, of the beginning of it that follow it. So the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that keep God's commandments and live righteously, you have another world that's on its way. A world of righteousness. All right? That's right. New Jerusalem. Yep, coming. Where, where all types of, the gold is clear as glass. All types of gems, peace, security. You ain't gotta worry about uh, Dusty Edomites that just got off of work and he's he's gone. Yeah, nut. He said, "I got my job from the Yellow Pages." Jake has to give a blood sample, thirty-five references. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, one interview after another. They gotta talk to your parents. You gotta talk to your grandparents. In order for you to to, 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 to work in Esau's uh, um, Esau's workplace, but all he has to do is get on the yellow pages, and he got a job. He got a job. Dang. And he's missing the bigger picture. He's like, you're not getting it. I don't care if you're yellow or Man. listen. God cares. That's right. You know what I mean? And it's not necessarily the color. All right. It's not. It's not the color because uh, Ephraim is a cake unturned. Mm -hmm. So you go to. Brazil, other places. You understand? 
you got people that look white, but they're really of the nation of Israel. So it's not color. But at this point in time, they're going back and forth with each other. They're fighting each other. Mm -hmm. the Democrats versus the Republicans. You understand? They already say that they're, they're going to steal the uh, the uh, election from Trump. They're already saying that it's a wrap. It's already, you know what I mean? If Trump doesn't win, they're going to turn up. So this is Esau versus Esau. And who wins? Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. That's right. You know? So what do we have to do? We got to come together. All right, this is Zephaniah chapter two, verse one. Gather yourselves together, yay. Gather together, O nation not desired. You know, the Palestinians are marching for Palestine. But when George Floyd got a knee on his neck for nine minutes, you didn't see all these protests. Nope. You didn't see them coming out here, oh man, we fight for, you know, we fighting for you, this, that, and the third. That's, but mm -hmm. Jake, right out there with him. That's right, I ain't seen no Palestine. Man? That's so right. As he says anything is oppressed, he says, man, we're the king of oppression. You know what I mean? We've been through so much, we don't see one, see nobody else oppressed. But you're missing one point. You're missing the important point that they had your ancestors in slavery. Mm -hmm. These people, these people were terrible to your ancestors. So why should they get a pass? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. This is the book of Amos, chapter five, and verse six. Uh, Slack it. This is the book of Amos, chapter one, and verse six. Thus saith the Lord: For three transgressions of Gaza, and for four. I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they carried away captive the whole captivity to deliver them to eat them. That's what happened to your ancestors. So-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans went into captivity. You know what I mean? Um, for the most part, 10 tribes was over here already, but you know, uh, still it was still 10 tribes living amongst um, the southern kingdom all right so what happened we end up getting enslaved by the damn arabs that's how we found out oh not found out that's how we got this idea that we muslim we're not muslim we're israelites right right you know what i mean islam ain't got nothing to do with the so-called black man other nope. than enslavement yeah all right that's right and, and the bible's telling you this and all this stuff that's happening to them is because they took your ancestors into slavery. No. Yep. This is the book of Amos, chapter 1, verse 7. But I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, which shall devour the palaces thereof. And what's happening right now in Gaza? They're knocking down all their buildings. It's not even about Hamas anymore. It's about destroying Gaza and flattening it. And they're literally flattening it. And this is prophecy. All right? You so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. It's a prophecy. Okay? So it's going to continue to happen. You know what I mean? This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. You know what I mean? So all these people right now are gathering together in that land. Iran's upset because they got bombed and they're going to have to retaliate on America. So all these Gentile nations are getting together and are ready to attack the United States of America and its pro allies, proxies, military bases, so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. All right, and then nobody's afraid of uh, nobody's afraid of America right now. Nope. There's not one country I can think of right now that fears America. You got you got 
not even, it's not even a whole country in Yemen. It's the Houthis. The Houthis in Yemen have no fear against uh, 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 Edomites. And that's a spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's a spirit that had to hop on them. Be like, they're not so tough. They got even though they got nuclear weapons. They 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 they. Uh, I would say they have uh, uh, superiority when it comes to the uh, air force, but we know that. Yeah, how about Shah has superiority. Right, right. You know what I mean, he's been knocking planes out the sky um, all month. Dropping. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and he's still getting dropped. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this guy that was the head of a school board um, somewhere in Pennsylvania, I think. Plane just fell out the sky. Right. You know what I mean? So, even though America has all this technology, all these billions of dollars, it's still not equating to winning wars you know what i mean you can hit his people with tomahawk missiles all you want but they just go underneath the, the ground and come back up and shoot some more missiles so they're in that guerrilla warfare mm -hmm. this is book isaiah chapter 34 verse 1 come near ye nations to hear and to hearken ye people let the earth hear and all that is therein the world and the things that come forth of it for the indignation of the lord is upon all nations all nations got to deal with this you know that's why amos is talking about who, what's the day of the lord for you it's darkness and not light all right and his fury upon all their armies he have utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Got a lot to live, got a lot to live up to. You got a lot to look forward to in these last days. You understand? These, these other nations, they're expecting the uh, a nice hug from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, going into the kingdom in some door that doesn't exist. Right. Some gate that's not there. Mm hmm. But he's telling you what's going to happen. 